Hello friends and welcome back to another Pokemon how-to guide. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and in today's episode we're going to be looking at all the methods you can use to farm as much armor at all as you want. So armor at all is really one of the most sought after objects that we've now got access to with the Isle of Armor for a couple of reasons. We got a brand new move tutor which is located in the dojo and to teach those moves that we've now got access to to our Pokemon you need Armorite Ores to be able to do that. So for that reason alone, the Armorite Ores are a really significant, a huge item, one that you're going to need to go out and find, grind and farm. Now, the other reason is we've got Digging Pa now on the island and he will dig up a bunch of watts for you. Now, this will vary from like 20,000 watts up to 200,000 watts and that will come at a cost of seven Armorite Ores per dig and again, this is another reason why you're going to need the Armorite Ores. So let's get into the different methods of Armorite Ore within this guide. So the first method to finding Armorite Ore, it's not very effective, but it is, uh, you can find Armorite Ore, but it wouldn't be the method that I would use. Now that is picking up random shiny objects around the Isle of Armor. There is a very small chance that one of these shiny objects will be um, an, a piece of Armorite Ore. On my whole travels playing the Isle of Armor since I started last Wednesday, I found one and I pick up a lot of these shiny objects. So, I mean, that kind of just goes to show that the odds of finding these aren't that great. You might get a lot luckier than I am, but I definitely wouldn't suggest it being a method that I would use to farm Armorite Ore. Now the second method we're going to look at is the Diggin' Mars. So in Sword and Shield when they got introduced we got the Diggin' Brothers and then obviously with Isle of Armor we got Diggin' Pa and we got Diggin' Ma. Now Diggin' Ma actually appears randomly around the island in 15 different locations. Now I'm going to throw up a map of the Isle of Armor right now and there are X's everywhere on this map for the 15 locations with where she spawns. So we will go around the island in a minute. I'll show you exactly these spawn points and these are completely random. So as far as I'm aware, you cannot use the date skip glitch to manipulate her positioning, uh, reset her positioning. Once she is in a location in the Isle of Armor, she will stay there until you find her. And when you do, she will dig for Armorite or and then after that, she will disappear and move on to another location now this is an all right method it's very risky though because there are a lot of times where you will speak to her and she'll dig and you'll get nothing but it's not a bad method if you know a good route to get around these 15 locations so you can check all of them and then find her and then kind of rinse and repeat and you're going to roughly get about two to three armorite ores per session when you find her but sometimes you're not going to get anything and sometimes you can get up to nine which is the most that i've had from her so it's not a bad method but it's not the most optimal method so without further ado friends let's dive into the game and let's have a look at these locations so as you can see i'll pull up the map again with the x's on so you can see the first location where we are is the fields of honor so we're outside the dojo the first location is once you're here, if you just take a swift left and then head up this bank and you will see that she is at the top of this hill here. So that is location number one. Location number two. We are going to go back to the dojo and we are going to go directly on a route down to the beach over this bridge. But after this point, you want to take a left here and then kind of double back on yourself and take this little secret entrance into the tunnel and also take you into courageous the courageous cavern. So you want to follow this path around and then just around the corner there is a little inlet and you can see this is another location where she will spawn. Now location number three is on this route again and you want to just follow courageous cavern all the way down and you want to follow the path around to the left and this will bring you to looping lagoon and that's where we're going to come out right now so what you want to do is once you're here you want to come to this 
kind of inlet island at the back and if you just head past these two logs here you'll be able to see her and she's against this back wall and this is location number three so from here what we can do uh, there are a, a plenty of different ways to go to get to this next location but from looping lagoon we want to kind of head back towards um the the dojo area where the the Covenite train station and where we come into the isle of armor is located um, and you want to be going around stepping stone c and there'll be another little inlet on the left as you're heading towards the dojo area and as you can see you'll come around to the corner here and if you head right up to the edge and she will be here so this is this is area number four okay so area number five is going to be ditto island and so you just fly to the station and ditto island is just off the coast here and you want to be kind of doubling back on onto the dojo um it's kind of if you're facing the dojo it's northeast of the dojo out to sea as you can see it but i'm pretty sure most of you know where ditto island is if not just follow this video it will take you directly to where you need to go and you'll be able to see a spade as well and the, it, like before she appears you'll be able to see like her spade so that's a good indicator if she is there or not and as you can see this is location number five so Location number six is going to be, we're going to have to use our fly locations now, but we want to be coming up to the training lowlands. So next to digging par, as you can see here on your right, you want to head into the tunnel and the first place you want to be going is taking a sharp left and that is going to bring you to this location here and right at the back of the cave, you've got digging mars so there we go that is location number six and location number seven is going to be on this path we want to be going out and coming to the pot bottom desert now you, you want to kind of head to the far left hand corner like the top left hand corner and she will be located right here as you can see so this is location number seven and we've only got another eight locations to find so next location number eight we want to head another fly location we want to go to challenge road which is the tower of darkness okay so once you're at the tower of darkness you want to head straight down these steps and down the steps again and you want to just follow around to your left the path here and if you just follow it right the way around and come to the top here and this will be location number eight so if you go back to the tower of darkness you come down these stairs here you come down the ramp again as you originally did but you instead of taking a left you take a right this time and then you come down these steps and then another set of steps and then you double back on yourself you turn and you come into this area here as location number nine oh we'll go to location number 10 and we want to go back up the stairs with where we've come from but you can go back to the the the, the dark tower and instead of taking a left or a right you just head straight down and we want to be going into the brawler's cave so once you're in brawler's cave you want to just follow the path around here and we want to be going down to the bottom level of this cave system and just following it round to the left and then once you get to the bottom here there'll be like an inlet again a little like loop almost and if you just come here you can see and uh, this is location number 10 so next location from here it's a little bit trickier from here you want to fly to challenge beach Okay, so once you're at Challenge Beach, if you just take the path directly down here, the first place we're going to go is into the forest area. So if you just take, you follow this path up into the forest, this will just take you in the forest of focus, and then you take the first right, take the first right here, and then over the bridge, and then on the left, you will see Digging Mart is located here. So that is, this is location number 11. I'm gonna fly back. Just so we've got markers, so you know where to go with this. So we'll 
the back to challenge beach and you want to go down the same path again like we were doing to go to the forest area but instead of going towards the forest area you kind of want to go across to the other side of this big boulder in front of us right now um and you want to follow the i just cut in on this grass here and then you want to come into this area here and there we go there is location 12. so the final three locations are going to be all out to sea so we'll go to location 13 now okay so this is going to be location 13 once you're at challenge beach again it's a good marker for us to to go from you want to take a left and head along the shoreline so you want to head towards the shoreline from challenge beach and you're going to come into honeycomb honeycomb sea and along the shoreline you'll see a little inlet and if you're familiar with the kingdra den from our kingdra guides this is location number 13 and the next one we will go to is location number 14 so we're getting very close to closing this one up now instead of going left like we just did at challenge beach where we're flying back to you want to go right and you want to go across to this island here with the two trees in the distance it's not too far away the other location where so this is location number 14 and this is the location just around the island if you go there's another inlet here and uh, Digimar will be located right here or in this spot right here and this is the other location where I just cannot for the life of me get her to spawn okay so once we're at challenge beach we can get to location 15 you want to take a left and then look ahead of you and it's it's the furthest island away in the distance directly behind the the water challenge tower uh, you'll go through stepping stone sea insula sea and you just need to keep up for keep an eye out for these sharp eaters because there'll be a number of them on the route and you don't want to run into too many of them once you start getting towards the island you'll be able to kind of see the shovel again and once you do get here and that will be location 15 so that is all 15 locations of digging mart so i hope you find this useful i'll just pull up the map again it'll show you detail you all the locations with where she is on the map um, and that should give you a good guide if you are searching around for her to farm Omri or that way but if in my honest opinion i don't think it is a very effective way to farm armorite or I honestly think this next method is definitely going to be your best method to farm an armorite or in the Isle of Armour. So friends, I'm going to just quickly interject here. I just want to reiterate the point that these locations on the map for digging Ma are completely random. This is not uh, in order of where she will spawn. Now I've done locations 1 through to 15. It doesn't necessarily mean she will be in location 1 and then in number 2, then number 3, and then number 4. She will just appear randomly in any one of these 15 locations. So you will have to explore these 15 locations to find her. Sometimes it it might take a little bit of time sometimes you might come across it quite early on but just to make you aware that these are not in order of where she will spawn this is just an example for you to know exactly where you can look throughout the the isle of armor for digging ma and that is just battling pokemon in max raid dens and that is going to be a guaranteed way for you to get a consistent amount and it's not going to spend you're not going to be spending too much time doing it now there are a few areas where you can go around the island and you can have certain you can beat certain pokemon um honeycomb island is a great location because you're only going to fight combis and uh, vespa queens and they are super easy to take down and they guarantee you uh two to three armor ores per pokemon and they're going to be very short turns chansey and blissey are rare uh, raid dens but they are, they give out a high amount of armor ores easy to take down again so the three star raids are the ones that you're going to want to try and chase down uh, when you are trying to to gather up armor or and the most effective method to myself is definitely max raid battles and i think just doing those in the isle of armor you're going to get as many as you want for as much time as you want to put into them and also you can hop online and join max raids online join friends join people that are hosting raids that's a great way to do it but honestly that would be my advice for farming armor right oh i think there are three methods the only three methods that we've currently got um there's obviously finding random items which is again you know random there is dig and mar which is super inconsistent and difficult to find and the roots are annoying and it's always 
10, nine times out of 10 gonna be the last place you look uh, to find her. Um, and then you've got the more consistent method, which is max raid battles. And that's the one I would go with. So if you want to go with my advice, you'll probably have a lot of success. Digging Mars is a bit of fun, but after a while it does get very tedious. Um, but you can decide. I would love to hear your opinions on what you find most effective, what you've what you've been using uh, to farm Omri or Ox. So that is gonna be it, my friends. I hope you found it useful. I hope you find the locations for Digging Mar useful. Um, you can screen snap or just pause the video on those maps um, and uh, the locations will hopefully help you a locator in the game and maybe farm a little bit of armor at all but um thank you for tuning in if you have found it useful as always do drop a like onto the video do hit the subscribe button if you are new we do a lot of guides like this on the channel pokemon news we do competitive play so we do a lot of fun things on the channel and i'm sure you'll have a lot of fun if you join us as well so we'll leave it there take care of yourselves my friends have a great rest of your day whatever time of day it is where you are Take care of yourselves, be kind to each other, and I'll see you all for the next one. Until then, take care and bye-bye.